Hello, lovely humans, and welcome to this week's shop review. And let's start off with the tanks, because that's obviously the most important part. And the IS-2 SH, which does require a IT at the end of its name to fully represent what this vehicle actually is. Now, the Chrysler K is a bit of a different story, because the Chrysler K is a pretty damn good vehicle, and I will be playing it later as well. I wouldn't pay 7.5k for this vehicle, personally. And then we also have a vehicle that you should better look at rather than buy. Now, yes, 15,000 for a T10 is a pretty good price, but in this case, it has a pretty good reason, as in the 121B is worse than the 121, but let's have a look at it a bit further right now. Here's the 121. It does have pretty high DPM, also mind this vehicle that's currently in testing. The aim time and the dispersion look pretty damn good, but if you compare it to the 121, it's really not that great. Now, Here's the thing, right? If you have the 121, there's absolutely zero reason to actually buy this vehicle. However, if you don't have the 121, then you can just spend your time on getting an E50M instead. These are never a great idea. <laughs> then we have the SU100Y, which can be a fun little tank, but only that. And you do get two weeks of premium, so that's the main reason I would buy this thing for. The times 5 are unfortunately bound to the vehicle and therefore relatively useless. Now, if you wanted to have the tank, it's not good but it can definitely be very fun 2k you gotta know that yourself if you can afford it and if you really like this type of vehicle as well and speaking of liking a type of vehicle that same goes for the scorpion g and the su-130 i already talked about that in detail in the last shop review you can check that out as well however the tldr here is su-130 is cheaper therefore it's better make sure that you can play them before you buy them well that you know how to play this type of tank before you buy them let's try a ball stick or something like that that is something that comes relatively close to it well i mean what, what would you buy this i mean it, it's fun and undog will hate you if you play this vehicle i don't know if there's, there's there's better things to spend five euros on that same goes for the titan 6k sure that's what it's worth reasonable price for it 15 or even 12 that's a ripoff go into the rest of the shop now wargaming still sells themselves the crates are horrible. You still got the events stuff going on again. Dracula's Arsenal, see, things like this. These are these are pretty good deals. You could buy this, and then you can those 2K the SU 100Y, and you get another 14 days of premium. And you can then sell the SU 100Y for I think 800,000, something like that. Sorry. Okay, you can still sell the the emoji lights. Don't buy crates in any case. And these subscriptions, if you're active, are a pretty good deal. The regular premium pa premium pass, lovely deal. Can definitely recommend it to anyone that needs all that gold, creds, boosters, premium time, camouflages, I guess. I don't know who needs camouflages? But anyway, there's a lot of great stuff in here in the premium pass. The problem with this vehicle is that it's very boring. There's nothing special about this tank. Like, of course, it's not by any means AMX 30B level of disgustingly horrible. However, it's just a vehicle that, if it were in the tech tree, would be fine and sure to pick up, but to actually spend your hard-earned money, or in case you're a banker, stolen money, um, then I wouldn't really do that, to be honest. Now, it also sounds like a heavy tank for some reason, which, which I don't get. Like, listen, it sounds like the old IS-7. This is weird. Um, this does not make any sense. Um, but hey... At least the tank performance is better than the sound design. So that's a win right there. Uh oh. Yeah, we're not gonna have a great time here because of that guy over there. Um. Uh oh. They're just gonna push everywhere. Now, hopefully. Good morning to that Yeguru. He's now dead. Now, I will not want to peek any of these guys. Obviously, now the Bat Chat and the TVP are obviously the prime targets. I'm gonna try to go for the TVP here. Um, because, I mean, this is. Not going to be a great time. Um, so. Hello. Why are you running away? It's not going to have a great time. I mean, overall, it has good mobility. It's up there with all the other medium tanks. It does have 3.4k DPM, which is among the higher uh, of the tt medium tanks. It, it's accurate. Like, it's not overall a bad tank by any means. The problem is, it's generic. It is pretty damn generic. If you like generic, 15k can be a pretty solid price for that. Now, if you like something interesting, then a T22 medium, or if it's ever sold for a good price, the KPZ50, it's going to be a pretty 
Much better choice right there, and they both just missed. If they keep doing that another five times, we have, do have a chance of winning this game. So, obviously the bat chat should be the main target right here, because obviously he can use his mobility to the fullest. Um, there we go. Thank you, yo. Thank you, I should say. Now it is a 3v3, and the Chieftain is in a bit of pickle, because he's in a 1v2. Now, I can't take a Hesh shell from the 183. I can take an AP shell, though. Now, he can't hash the front of this vehicle, but he can hash the side. So, I have to be a bit careful there. Just like that. There you go. As I said, he can't hash the front of this vehicle. Now, all I'm going to have to do is track him and get behind him. And the Chieftain is doing a splendid job over there. Now, that's, that's a tank that I definitely recommend picking up. And he's not going to turn by the time I reload. And goodbye. So, is this a good tank? Eh, not really. Should you buy it? Not really. But if you're collecting tanks, and if you want to have it, there is no objection to that. It's a good price for a tank that's fine. And that's okay. Now here we go with the Chrysler K, and the K stands for Clumsy. Or Kentucky, I don't know, whatever. Um, maybe the designer was from Kentucky, and that's why he couldn't spell Clumsy. Anyway, this is a vehicle that isn't quite as good as, as a, let's say, a T-42 or Object 2 FT or anything of that sort, because it is, as I said, clumsy. You have the turret at the rear, which is, most of the time, not very practical. The gun's pretty much identical to the T-32, however, I still prefer playing the T-32 over this one, because while this one is faster, it again has the turret at the rear, and that can be quite awkward. It is absolutely amazing if you want to side scrape, obviously, something like this, then especially with the very, very stock Ferdinand, um, and you'll be just about fine now. I'm gonna move forward here. Obviously that Ferdinand's gonna be not able to do anything. I still don't know what happened to that vehicle because it is slower than the Yak Panther 8, Yak Panther 2. It is worse armor than the Yak Panther 2 and it has a worse gun than the Yak Panther 2. So playing the Ferdinand is a very much masochistic um, whatever you wanna do. So let's so let's go on the Faro. Now again you gotta peek the weak side first, and you're gonna have to sort of try to maneuver around the backside to uh, to get this vehicle on target. But once you do, it's a fine tank. 7.5k is, in my opinion, too much for it. However, the armor it does hold up pretty damn well, um, unless you hit the lower plate. It is very high. Like look, look at how tall this thing is. Look at how the massive size of it. So I mean, even the E75 TS looks small to it, and that is already a pretty damn tall tank in its own. And that's not necessarily a good thing because obviously the side is very flat, which means you can get pinned. Unless you size scrape. So at this point, 2.5k. Well, that's going to be a free smasher snack. And there, and there. And here's the thing it's a good tank. It is a good tank, but it is clumsy. And for that, I would like a bit of a lower price to justify that. So now with that said, what do I definitely recommend the buying? Nothing really, to be honest. I mean, there is, there's nothing that you just have to have in a shop, except the premium pass if you play actively, or maybe something like this. This is this this. If I would guarantee to recommend something from this week, it would be this, or the Helsing doesn't matter which one of the two. The tanks could definitely be better. Shit. That's what this is. So, ah, it just feels good saying it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Special thank you to my channel members for supporting the channel. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.